Americans love Australia. They love it. Australia is like a trigger word for them. You say Australia to Americans, they just go, Australia. Oh my God, Australia's awesome. We love Australia. Americans love Australia. None of them have been there, right? <laughs> they have no idea what they're talking about. Could be an awful hellhole for all they know. But for some reason, Americans love the idea of Australia. Because I think for Americans, Australia is as far as they can travel and still see white people. <laughs> it's like, let's experience some new culture, but let's stay in our comfort zone. Don't get too crazy with these flavors in Southeast Asia, please. I just want a different topping on my pizza. Hattie Mandel's fifth annual All-Star Comedy Gala. I love Australia. My wife is Australian, so that helps. Uh, I love my wife a lot. Uh, I love my wife so much, I married her three times. That's right, I married the same woman three separate times. Why? Because when you have Asian parents, you have to get married in every country you have relatives in because Asian parents have to brag, okay? And I know every parent has to brag. I'm not trying to take anything away from anyone. I'm just saying Asian parents also have to brag and weddings is how they do it. Because weddings for Asian parents, it was like the original Instagram. It's, it's, how they, it's how they caught up with people. It's how they get the likes. It's how they get the dopamine hit. It's how they leave comments. Why so skinny? Why so fat? Why don't you marry? Why don't you have a baby? What's wrong with your balls? <laughs> they say stuff to you that strangers on the internet wouldn't say. So yeah, I married my wife three times. The first wedding we had in Melbourne, Australia, because my wife is from Melbourne, Australia. Then we got married in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Even though I'm not from Kuala Lumpur, but who gives a damn what the groom wants, right? <laughs> Let's just find your landmark in Malaysia everyone can pronounce with the most direct flights. <laughs> and then we got married in New York for green card purposes. Okay, so three <laughs> very romantic weddings. Let me speak from the heart here for one minute. If you take nothing else away from the show here tonight, please just hear me now. Okay, I'm speaking from personal experience here. There are fewer joys you will experience in life than organizing three weddings at the same time. <laughs> oh my God, it's so much fun and so easy to do. I highly recommend it. In fact, it's so much fun after you organize three weddings, huh, you should just kill yourself immediately. Because it turns out you never experience as much joy as you do than when you're trying to organize three weddings simultaneously. In fact, the only way you could experience more joy is if you organize those three weddings as far away from your physical location as possible. <laughs> because you'll find that the enjoyment versus distance graph increases exponentially the further away <laughs> the weddings are from your physical body. So fun and cheap.